Hi everyone, I'm Nicole van der Hooven and I love JMeter. But wait, you're on the right channel, let me explain. As load testers, we pride ourselves on being tool agnostic. You know, we want to say that we always choose the right tool for the job, for the project, for the client. The reality is that that can be really difficult unless you're constantly putting yourself out there to learn the new tools. One month ago, I joined K6, and I wanna talk a little bit more about why. But first, let's talk about things that JMeter is traditionally good at. First, JMeter has a GUI. If your team has doesn't have that much experience in coding, or if you're newer load testers and you just want something that's kind of a, like a drag and drop interface, it's gonna have to be JMeter. K6 doesn't have that, at least not in the open source component of the tool. The SaaS platform, K6 Cloud, does have that, but we're not going to be talking about that in this comparison. We're just comparing open source tool versus open source tool. Secondly, JMeter has been around for a long time. I actually had to look it up and it was first released in 1998 which means that it's had over 20 years of iterating and reiterating over the same core concepts. And it shows. JMeter supports a lot of protocols just out of the box, and it has a lot of features. You can really see the 20 years of development effort that's been put into it. By contrast, K6 is new. It was released in 2017. So if your project requires a protocol that K6 doesn't support, JMeter probably does. Thirdly, JMeter's head start also means that it has a way more mature community. There are so many people out there who are creating tutorials and courses and books, and a lot of developers are also creating plugins for JMeter. In comparison, the K6 community is growing, but small compared to JMeter's. Both sides have extensive documentation, but just because of the sheer amount of third-party materials out there, I would give the edge definitely to JMeter. The fourth point is a huge selling point for JMeter, I think, and it's distributed load testing. JMeter comes natively with a way to kind of select a controller and you can install JMeter agents on many different machines to make them load generators that talk to the main controller. That way you can kind of orchestrate far larger load tests than you would be able to on a single machine. K6 doesn't natively have that. You'd have to go to a premium service. This is a theme that you're going to see in other open source load testing tools as well. JMeter is pretty unique in that it comes with this mode. And the fifth point is JMeter's built-in reports. I think analysis is probably the most important part in a load test, and JMeter definitely makes it easy. It has a lot of listeners that come with it already, plus a lot of listener plugins that other people have developed for it. On top of that, it does recently, I think it came in JMeter 4, it now has um, HTML reports that you can generate. Now it's a little, it's still a little fiddly, but it's functional. That's not something K6 can do. You pretty much would have to take the results and analyze it yourself. I think it should be pretty obvious by now that I'm a JMeter fangirl. But even I have to admit that JMeter does have its limitations. The reason that I joined K6 is I actually think that K6 is pretty strong in areas where JMeter is weak. Here's what I think K6 is strong in. First is installation. K6's installation was a breeze. I mean, being able to just do it in a command line, it, it was just brew install K6. and it was there in seconds. There were no external dependencies and it was only then that I realized how difficult it can be for a new JMeter user to get started. With JMeter, you actually have to install Java first and you might not know which version you need because do you need an SDK or a JDK or JRE or now Oracle is flexing its muscles a bit on the licensing. So some licenses are paid for, but others are still free. Now it's just a little bit more confusing. 
Secondly, K6 has most of the features that you're going to need in load testing built in, no plugins necessary. Now, JMeter does support them, but I think every JMeter tester knows there's like a standard set of plugins that you really should download when before you use JMeter for the first time because there's just a lot of functionality that isn't there if you're not including plugins. So here's a few things that you won't have if you stick to a no plugin vanilla version of JMeter. Custom load profile, stages, rendezvous, you can't even parallelly execute requests because by default, JMeter is going to execute them sequentially. There's no HTTP2 support. You can't randomize files within a CSV. There's no throughput shaping timer for setting throughput in like stages. And these are things that K6 just does without plugins. Thirdly, K6 is built with performance in mind. See, JMeter's limitation here is that it's built on Java. So if you run enough tests on, on JMeter, you're going to come across an error about running out of heap memory. That, that happens because now you, you can't just worry about the resources of the load generator. You also have to worry about how much of those resources you're allocating to the JVM. It adds another layer of complexity. On top of that, JMeter runs on a more traditional one thread is one virtual user model, which is really pretty outdated and not very efficient. On the other hand, K6 runs on Go, so it's able to utilize the Go scheduler's magic and being able to assign Go routines to threads. If you don't know what any of that means, here's what it comes down to. In JMeter, you're going to be able to run a few thousand users probably on a reasonable load generator, a reasonably spec'd load generator. For K6, you're going to be able to run tens of thousands of virtual users. Same test, just different tools. Number four is that K6 is better for collaboration. JMeter's strength is that it's GUI driven, but that's also a disadvantage because in order to open up a script or modify it, the easiest way is to open it up in your copy of JMeter. But there is also a script that's generated, but it's in XML and it is really long-winded. And the way that it's structured doesn't really lend itself well to just kind of quickly modifying something you're most likely going to have to download the script, open it up in your copy of JMeter, which makes it difficult when many of you are touching the same script. In K6, this isn't a problem. K6 is written in JavaScript, so it's way less verbose and it's way easier to see which parts people have added or modified. And lastly, K6 is goal-oriented. One thing I never understood about JMeter is why it doesn't have thresholds at the test level. So it does have response assertions, but that works on a sampler level and you can have it apply to all samplers, that's not a problem, but it doesn't sort of aggregate it. In K6, you can say, you know, fail the test if 90% of the response time is over, you know, three seconds or, or whatever it is. And that's like one line in K6. So I think that it's really important to always have in mind the purpose for your load testing. And that's something that just is native to K6. So in conclusion, JMeter and K6 are both excellent load testing tools that I will continue to use. They're both open source and I think that they happen to be strong in areas where the other is weak. So I think they should both be part of a load testers tools arsenal. In the end, there's no better tool. There's just the better tool for your situation and your particular context. So I will always encourage you to download them both, try them out and see what works better for your team. Till next time.